Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz. We're talking about you. Today we're going to talk about overtime versus ordinary wage increase. Bottom line first, if you get the ordinary wage increase, then because there's substitution effect and income effect, you might end up working less. But with overtime, you are going to work more. And I'm going to explain why. Now, suppose your original wage was W1, so we have this red budget line. And in that lowest level of wage, suppose our selection is point A, that means we're going to have R1 hours of leisure and R bar minus R1, that will be L1 hours of work. And our consumption is a C1. So that's our original choice. Now suppose there is an ordinary wage increase. That means my wage is going up from W1 to W2 for every hour I work. Now from the previous backbending labor supply video, we learned that when there is a wage increase, there are both substitution effect and income effect. Substitution effect is going to ask you to work more. Income effect will tell you to work less. Now if your wage increase is so big, then your income effect is going to dominate, then you're going to end up working less. And that's exactly our case here. So suppose our wage goes up from W1 to W2, then here my budget line is going to become steeper and I am going to choose to um, consume at point B. That means I have R2 leisure hours and R2 leisure hours is higher than R1. That means I end up working less. My work hour is L2, L2 is less than L1, so I end up working less because my wage increase is so big, the income effect dominates. Now, typically, our employer will prefer us to work more, not less. So they divide this over time. So what the employer is saying is this, hey, I am going to pay your wage W1, but I'm going to increase your wage to W2 if you work at least L1 hours. So for the first L1 hours, the employer is going to pay me W1 per hour. But if I work more than L1 hours, then for each additional hour, I'm going to get paid a higher rate W2. And in this case, there is only substitution effect. So let's see how it works. With overtime, for the first L1 hours I work, I'm getting paid this rate W1. So my budget line is still here, the red line. But after R1 hours, I'm going to get paid a higher rate. So it's going to become steeper like that. So you can see this purple line is parallel to this blue line. So my new budget line with overtime is going to look like this. With a kink at point A. So in this case, if I want to get a higher rate, I have to at least work for L1 hours. And in fact, I'm going to work L3 hours. You can see that my new choice is at choice, uh, point D. And in this case, I leisure R3 hours and I work L3 hours. And for the first L1 hours, in this L3 hours, I'm paid a wage rate W1. And for each additional hour, I get paid W2. So my new choice is point D with overtime. So that's the difference between overtime and ordinary wage increase. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.